Good evening and welcome to a Kappa with Nom Debo. Thank you very much for choosing to watch us today. Today's episode is the second part of our conversation with Lisedi Matimbe. That was quite an emotional, you know, first part. And uh, we are moving on to the second part of our interview because there's quite a lot, you know, that we'd like to discuss with you, um, Lisedi. More especially, I'd like us to just, you know, go into, you know, the book. You wrote a very inspirational book called being the light. Let us just start with the heading first. Why being the light? Oh, okay. Uh, why being the light? Uh, the light, um, it's a direct translation uh, of uh, my name, Lisedi, mm. which means uh, light, the sun. Yeah. So, yeah, and uh, the kind of person that I've uh, developed into being when it comes to um, seeing uh, positive changes into other people's lives happening mm. and that brings a smile to me so with that alone makes me to be the light to always want to give back to the community or the society right. in any way yeah so in this sense whereby i title my book being the light which yeah. is giving light to the people yeah yeah I just want to read um, quickly, you know, the, the little messaging that we have, you know, at the back, you know, of your book. You describe your book as, this is a book that I use to share stories of survival and determination in adversity. It is also a love story where one realizes the power of loving one another and creating a better society to live in. In this copy, I show the importance of having a vision daring to dream, and then making it happen. This inspirational book will leave you with answers that you probably never thought would work, like what I call the key to life. For example, living life without fear and following your dream, even when everything seems not to make sense in any way. You go on to say in, in your book, in the same tone, embracing love, because love is stronger than fear. But of course, we can decide to let the fear in us to be bigger than everything, paralyzing us, such that we even fear to love because we fear to hurt. Wow. That's when fear rules. Listen to this. But now, when love rules, so many doors open for you because you are not ruled by your insecurities but hope that you will be that you will succeed and that you will be loved furthermore even when you are not succeeding right away you hope that tomorrow will bring success and not stop because of your fear clearly love also has so much power equal to fear depending on what you choose to embrace between the two i personally that's you would like to tell you to choose love over fear and live a beautiful life that is the most magical words that you you put together here and you are spreading such a very strong message of love yeah. and not allowing fear to take over but to make to make sure that we push the agenda of, of love. love. There's a lot of love being mentioned in your book. Mm, Let's yeah. talk about that word. Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, when you love something, um, others, they choose it to define it in a different way. Mm -hmm. So I also choose my own way to define yeah. it. When you love something, you respect something. Mm -hmm. And when you respect something, you don't want to disappoint. So when you love yourself, uh, you live truly and yeah. you know exactly what it means uh, or what you have to do to try and make your life a better one. Yeah, It can be either academically, it can be either um, spiritually in any way. Mm -hmm. And then you, it takes discipline and then that also teaches you to go to the skills of discipline on how to handle your priorities and mm. be there. Because now move on. Priorities, yeah. meaning if we say, so yeah. I just want us to go into your book, and I must say, being the light, you know, I read the book and I feel everyone needs to get this copy, so we are going to talk about it at the end as to where 
people or where one can get a copy of this book. It's truly inspirational and life-changing. I read it literally, I think it was, it took me like 45 minutes to read the whole book. Mm -hmm. And I've known you before I'd known you. Mm -hmm. And then I got to know another side of Lissidi that I never knew through this book. And it's very brave of you to actually write this book, uh, Being the Light. And this book talks about your life. Heavy, heavy things that you went through. Your life is here. The good and the bad is in this book where you're just trying to teach people about love and giving them hope. And it just unpacks all the challenges, you know, that um, you went through. Um, I don't even know where to begin, you know, when, it, when we, we talk about this book. But why did you choose to use your life story to pen down this book? Mm. I chose my love story because uh, most important it is about gaining myself back because mm. uh, Master Kola will experience life differently. Yeah. For me, uh, you know, I had things living there and, uh, you know, Ubanae sometimes loyal move and be when lost now and that which is your bosom friend, your closest friend. It's not that I team for sometimes at even your like not to say ubule lo move but dead secrets, you know. So and long ago so chabulo squat doing labany bam you know. And each time you try to better yourself in life and that thing comes up again. Mm. We ugly matter mental. Yeah. You know. So because I was just writing about my life to Tembilwen, like studying Guba Nambo diary and it's a sense diary. But my diary turned into like a recording in Jenny Yeah. So that's how I came about uh, writing the book. So the the, the writing of the book alone Sita because I felt like it's a new me, you know, because everything then I disturb and billion it's already here yeah you know like it's like therapy right. for me it's like yeah. therapy because it's like very lab so i'm starting in a new uh, like page all yeah. together so yeah so basically i'm motivating low and, yeah. but and i think it's very motivational and i love the way you addressed the different chapters you know of the book you know it's at the subtitles you know the different chapters has victory point life reflections learning, you know, from life, pushing till the end, you know, taking those baby steps, you know, authority of your life, loving yourself, you know, that, that, that's quite a lot, you know, listen with understanding and learn from losing, you know, it's quite a lot of um, very, very hardcore moving, you know, chapters here. I just want to start with this one, um, the second chapter, you know, life reflections, you know, the first thing, you know, that hits you, you know, your, your opening words, you know. It's like, what is a home? Is it a roof over your head? A big or small house with food on the table? I think a home is a place that keeps a family together. And unfortunately for you and your cousins, you know, that you mentioned, you know, growing up with, this is not something that um, you really had. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Yeah, that part... Uh I was trying to bring out an insight whereby I was sharing my experience when it comes to like having a support system hmm. or like a family, yeah. you know, people that you would talk to when you're facing challenges, you know, people would advise you. So for me and my cousins, we never had that, you know, because we had lost uh, everybody from my father's side, his family, you know, when it came to cousins, Bongelabo from my uh, surname. Mm. Yeah, and then that experience, mm, yeah, Pinze Yang and Danga Boga in a positive way, and Jenga Boga in a positive way because Yang and Danga Boga goes, I only had my cousins who, me and my uh, other cousin is like a year older than me. Mm. We, yeah, Nag Boga logo is something else that motivates me because. All I knew at a later stage was good. We just had the two of us because my other third cousin and I was able to see me somewhere. Good, I was assisted. Uh, mm. Yes, from 
certain uh, organization and then was na kwende ka logo sasala ke ne cousin yam so it too so we he had me i had him so mm. it, we had that relation so it's like more like we like brothers yeah you know? so yeah and then ngathi ke it's not a big beautiful home you know lena go gong you know kungaba nje ishek lencane but now ne move yathi lo lakha eleni philelana naye then bambana naye as yeah. family that also counts so, so you for, found yourself at that age you know mm -hmm. at at 14 and uh, you were 14 and your cousin was 15 years mm -hmm. old in Hlalanong too yes and then you have to feed yourselves make sure that you're clean and you're able to go to school mm -hmm. how did you manage to do that there was also another challenging part because in Kumlaj and Jenangfun Zembabane Central, Pebang Bitanga Soma business, you know, like, hey, now so much business. And because uh, back then, Pexa said, hey, that's our site. Pegu say, quite a big push up on my chips. Kune win cash and carry. So I had like a small tuck shop, you know, Le Pei Hamba, go on my premises, a school, yeah, open my chips, la open a stock suite. And so we are Pugisa na much like Sas, we are figure. We are part of this, we are progress and stock of success. Other. So that's how I managed to like run my daily activities. Like could see, I have a candle like Kanyisa. I have could see a corner when they go and go, exciting as you know, I in a, yeah. So I yeah. had something like that, you know. So now my cousin was not like that, that's like that's in a pegas. I'm a weekend would work in my car wash, wash cars, you know, all those kind of, yeah. And I say sometimes it would be in a good see maybe. She was seven dollars somewhere, I couldn't go and drag it. She was sitting there, somewhere. Mm. So it, that's my peace job. Yes. You know, yeah. So, person that I didn't know that. So, how was the, that? You know, because yeah. at the end of the day, you also have to be a normal 14 year old and a 15 year old, you know, doing what normal 14 year olds are doing. What was that like for you, honestly? At first, it was a challenge because I couldn't understand what's happening. You mm. know, I just want to be like a normal kid, like yeah. everyone. Like go play, yeah. Don't even have to think about the next meal. Go sit out, come go up, you know. Because I could see my friends. Because when I buy hamba, I would just like my marbles and yeah, and you couldn't ball. play. Sometimes I couldn't play. The only time I could play was when I was visiting my grandma from my um, uh, mother's side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we would books and up shop. So yeah, then I would play. Some. That's when you'd get that breather. Yeah, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But now, la from my father's side, yeah, na nga benjektiwa go because I also had help from bo the organization. Yes, E S O S Children's Villages. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I would get a breather from them because back then they were offering my food parcels. Right. You know so. Once a month, you get your totally food parcel. Mm -hmm. So now, logo would give me a breath. I would, okay, you know, for the next two or three weeks, I'm not going to worry about rice and I'll worry about other stuff because you see, you receive really food parcel. Yeah. So, thanks to like SOS Children's Villages for that, yeah, because now logo will sit there like a cool and brilliant. So, and other some NASA figure in it, they also go be in school uniforms, but mm -hmm. offer school shoes, not full of a jersey and a shirt, maybe in my pants. Yeah, things are changing now and again. So, you know, mm -hmm. because of uniform, yeah. we're all uniform. So, right. it serves the purpose of wearing a uniform in a school. So because it's the strongest fan. Because now it's going to affect me, probably, most definitely, yeah. Because we're going to learn how to or in, in, in mm -hmm. uniform. Yeah. And you know, they say, you know, children, you know, they can be mean sometimes, mm. you know. So look about what since you're being silly, you're joking around, so, you know, it, it's kudos, you know, to SOS um, Children's Village for actually, you know, assisting you when it comes to, you know, to that element, you know, of your life, you know, with your cousin. We are going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to talk more about um, quite a number of other insights um, that are in the book um, on being the light. We'll be right back.
Eswatini National Petroleum Company proudly presents to you the Monday edition of Market View, where business news are reported and analyzed by a cast of experts and correspondents to deliver unrivaled facts and figures from the business world. Catch this edition every Monday at 2 p.m. brought to you by Eswatini National Petroleum Company. You're watching a kappa with Numkebo, and I'm having a very beautiful conversation with Lisedi Matsimba. My life has changed dramatically by knowing, you know, this gentleman next to me, and I'm sure that your lives are also going to be changed, you know, positively. You're going to be inspired, and you're going to be motivated to get out and get out there and do something, you know, in order to change your life and make it a positive story. Lisedi, there's other elements that you mentioned in your book. Um, there was one situation where which upset you. I think it was your friend or it was your cousin that mentioned that, you know, because of the situation where you lived, you know, So order secure safe, and then that information <laughs> cut out. I don't wanna ruin it. Just say that 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 you know that that little incident. Excuse me about that. Mm. Oh yeah, that experience. That experience, you know, answer Kaya Pegu is shack, you know, it was a stick and mud house, you know. So Lom Lom Nyango was also Um Yango Long as the Gat Lelo Peskyanya Spigil. Excuse me. Yes, Spigil. So the Spigil Pes post Pepas Pes Shell Lam Nyang or Besia coach so that from the outside but you need to have if freedom you to connect for a little higher to connect to answer ski so basically from the outside and from the inside it's easier you just push it up so my journey i wanna in a asbona must care always because i'm just put my name my hello and just here next to neighbors in my book again so master scandal age of intellectual age of signal bam for andy also in the ill thing is only chocolate things are very scary now but you know we end the timing you're wrong yeah so i was so emotional about not color up open it in my jokes at my jokes man yeah sometimes yeah so you and i'm sometimes in that transit joke and unless i'm just talking to someone laying close we yeah that 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 close yeah because of that because when i might be joking and then now you're just joking i seen you just joking you know but now like now because yeah, yeah, it's an experience like a night hands or move yeah. yeah so it was basically that so now logo and jay kwang fun is a different you know way of viewing in bill mm. so you know life sometimes can be can be the sad truth because failure didn't care as big but when uh how you view that it's up to you because not now talking about affect in a negative way mm. you're just going to sit down and do nothing about yeah. it but if you let it affect you in a positive way yeah. you're just going to say okay cool let me dust myself up and then i'm going to go to and i need to improve my wow. life it doesn't that, that must have been um, a, mm. an experience that really disturbed you you know because you know it, <coughs> Uh, that story is also in, in, in the book, um, Being the Light. And I'm going to ask you this um, other hard question. Going through your challenges, you know, still trying to make ends meet. You found yourself in situations whereby element you had to go the extra mile just to survive. And then you found yourself in a situation where you would be in certain relationships. Mm. Do you want to talk about that? It's in the book. Let's talk about that. About that. Okay, cool. Mm, uh, that's that. That those those um, experiences or I'd say situations, uh, depending on what we buy and Um uh, For me, the logo was another learning curve because. In life, I'm a shortcuts because my grandma used to tell us not to get an move in the arts. You're born a more gang, now I will move back gang or window or something. But say they end up a baba bopa or baba bula. It's either you end up in jail yeah. or you got you back to back bula, you get uh, killed by cops. So, uh, logo again. 
the experience layer of having relationships because you know sometimes you can be a relationship just because of it background yeah not because you want to be in a relationship mm. and i'm happy because currently and people are raising it out so we'd also ask us guys sometimes again there because it's more common go my females yeah now my males go on out so i'll follow it so to love it's okay you know what i'm having a sugar mommy because of a background from a car yeah you know? yes so for me it was on from that you know so now logo one from this and jim billion would see at them billion if one at the seven day look to push away and take shortcuts in life you end up not being anybody you're mm -hmm. just being a nobody so logo get one sit and then i was so i and try and uh take pride of myself you know what's not me as yeah. a young man yeah. you know yeah and because that alone vaccine for for a young person yeah. it can also damage you so go and sit back on the terms because now I was saying about I got here I need to start you know valuing myself yeah yeah the yeah, kind thank of thing so I much have. you know for sharing that you know because these are everyday problems happening to everyday people you know this mm -hmm. is what happens out there and you're sitting there today you know sh sharing your story because you know what you can make positive life changes and thank you for sharing that information i think it's very you know, the brutal honesty you know that is, is entailed in this book there's so much that is in this book that you need to read as what dini that is going to change your lives but because we're running out of time um what is the the, the what is the, when you go to bed you know with this book you know that you have published what is that one feeling that you have that just makes you feel so content about this beautiful book that you've published? Uh, what makes me, and I'll have like a peaceful rest, is that um, I know that somewhere, someone is reading the book yeah. and is getting his or her life changed. Yes, So definitely. that's what makes me, like, that what gives me peace you yeah. know, when I go to bed at night, that, you know, someone somewhere is just reading this book and is experiencing light when yeah. it comes to life challenges yeah. so for me it's that that okay. gives me like and then keeps me fueling uh, up and like, going for everything that yeah. i want to do yeah okay so you're currently um you're still in taiwan still pursuing your your education um and congratulations i must say for accomplishing your master's degree in in ai management that's a huge, huge achievement. You're going back, you're still continuing to study. You have just other beautiful things, Lisa, that you're doing in Taiwan. You're working with children. And um, I feel that's a beautiful element. So what is it like, you know, impacting your skills, you know, working with young children? Oh, for me, working with young children, especially in a foreign country, has helped me because I got to, you know, understand, you know, like cultural differences. Mm -hmm. And also, it also helped me a lot because my memory has been refreshed a lot because some of the things I also did in primary, because I'm teaching like basic English, you know, right. like grade ones to grade threes. Okay. And I'm also teaching science part time. So it's just, you know, not provocative in a yeah. good way, you know, like trying to refresh the memory yes. in science about grade one, but ecosystem and whatnot, because, right. yeah. And that experience has helped me cultural because now I know how they think, you know, how the education system works yeah. on their part. And then on the part of uh, also um, um, having to do other things from that, like photography, because I also love taking pictures, yes, landscape and photography. Also into acting. Yeah, into acting. Yeah. Uh, I had a passion into acting, so very yeah. That also just helped me a lot because in a, in a confidence, it has also gave me a lot of confidence. Yeah. Yeah, in doing Gongele Lang. Fortunately, we have run out of time. You're going back to Taiwan just literally three seconds. So you're going there to pursue your PhD, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, I'm done now. I'm just you're going there now. to defend one more time my okay. thesis and then, yeah. All right, and, and you still got a, a big wish list waiting for you. You still need to travel. 
you know, to Germany, Liverpool, you've got it here in your book, mm -hmm. you, you still need to meet Oprah, you need to meet Denzel Washington, Barack Obama. So I wish you all the best and thank you for coming on to the show, A Couple with Namika. But if people want to get a copy of this book, how can they get a copy of this book, Lisa? I have uh, on my socials, of um, Lisa, on my Facebook, Lisa Di Matimbi. Uh, mm -hmm. Also Instagram, Lisa Di Matimbi. Uh, Facebook, Lisa Di Li Matimbi. Twitter, Lisa Di Matimbi. Mm -hmm. LinkedIn, Lisa Di Matimbi. I've got links in my bios in all okay, my Okay, where they can actually yeah. get hold of this book. Yes. And I know it's also on Amazon, right? Amazon, yes. It's yeah. everywhere. You just type the title being the light and then yeah. there it is. Then you get all the information. It has been an absolutely beautiful moment, you know, sitting with you, you know, in the studio, sharing your life story. I'm so inspired and I'm so blessed to know you and to have you in my life and I hope that um, the public or the viewers at home you know will feel the same way get a copy of this book I think every child needs to read this book I would encourage parents to source this book I would encourage schools to get this a copy of this book and make sure that students get to read in this book it is a must read and it's a life changer so i'm putting it out there i'm giving you a challenge as well to get this book and let's support you know our young swazi book author he's done quite a lot you know looking listening to his life story where he comes from to sit here with us with a whole book that he has published and he's still going to do bigger things it is amazing Eswatini, and i hope that you have been inspired they said thank you so much and may the lord continue to bless you the light is even going to be lighter trust me it's going to be very very bright in fact it is bright already thank you for doing the wonderful work that you are doing thank you for beating the odds of life and being the winner and thank you for believing in love this is what the world needs to believe in love and to fight Thank you for reminding us of those important components. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Lisa. With that, thank you very much for watching A Kappa with Namka. But it has been beautiful, I must say. Good night, and it's love and light. Mm -hmm.